and welcome to Halloween on a Dime. I'm Margaret and in this video I will be teaching you how to build a cemetery fence. First things first are the materials. What do you need to, mill to make this gate? You need PVC pipe. You can get PVC pipe at any hardware store and it comes, it comes in different colors. Uh, it even comes in black but I think it has wording on it and everything so you still have to paint it anyway. Plus it's more expensive. I just got the white and it comes at lengths at about, it comes at a uh, length at about three yards long and I got the half inch round size and those rods the the cost of just one of those is less than two dollars it's actually somewhere around a dollar thirty dollar fifty somewhere around there for one gate you will need just one of those you will need wood rods from the craft store and they are about 60 cents each and you will need six of those so that's about three dollars uh, you will need black paint that I also got at the craft store it's about three dollars for these but I got them with a the coupon so they came out to be this one bottle came out to be a dollar fifty and it goes a long way it'll cover the entire gate plus many more but just this one little bottle you will also need black and gray spray paint uh, the cheapest kind I just got the cheap kind they were a dollar piece uh, you don't need the more expensive kind really uh, the cheap kind works perfectly fine and you will need some type of glue I have Gorilla Glue here just because it's very strong very sturdy uh, it's very good for when I'm pounding things into the ground it holds very good uh, but you can just get any type of strong glue but the grill glue is a good investment because it will last you for many other projects as well uh, you also need some uh, some type of varnish or any type of coating I have the paint on kind or you can get the spray on kind uh, the spray kind is it's expensive I guess you don't necessarily have to varnish it but it does help protect it because it is going to be outside uh, plus it will last you more than just one gate for either the little jar or the spray kind and s uh, some rope so how do you create this gate? first step is to take your PVC pipe and I measured out uh, 38 inch rods and you out of that one long piece you get three uh, so you'll have one left over and then you take that uh, PVC pipe that you have just cut you take the two that you'll need and you paint it black uh, you take your black outdoor paint and it'll need you'll need two coatings for to to completely cover it and then you do the same thing with your wood rods you paint them black uh, these only need one coating uh, then you start putting it together first you take uh, two of the wood rods and you lay them out across you see here Whoop. and the two going across you lay those down first you lay those down first and you take the two PVC pipes go on the end and then I used four in the middle you can see I sort of slope them give it some more texture uh, I wish I could give you some measurements of some kind here that say you know I wish I could say oh I I measured it out and it's all perfectly even and great but it's not because I I, I didn't <laughs> so I can't give you those measurements I did it by eye uh, I, so like I said I laid down the two wood rods across and then you want to make sure all of the rest of the rods that are going up and down 
are on the same side so you don't want one ending up on the wrong side. You lay them down how you want on one side. Side note, make sure on the bottom your two PVC pipes go much longer than the rest of your rods uh, because they're the part that's going to be going into the ground. You don't want to, you don't want the middle sections to end up going into the ground or maybe you do if that's how you decide to set it up and then you glue it. You glue them down and you let them dry for few, at least a few hours or overnight however you want to do it with them being pressed down you definitely want to make sure they're being pressed down with some bricks or heavy books or anything to make sure that they're they don't because Gorilla Glue especially uh, expands so you want to make sure they're pressed down so that they they're together and that when the glue expands it doesn't expand out and I you can also if you'd like you can take string or your rope and tie it around but it's not absolutely necessary uh, it's just a way of giving it some more texture uh, then you take your black spray paint and you just touch up the the edges the area where the glue is because uh, glue dries you know either orange or yellow not orange yellow or or white or off-white so you want to spray paint over that and your string and then you wait for that to dry and then you take your gray spray paint and you lightly dust over the whole thing just to give it an aged look you know I like to do that and then basically the last thing you have to do is just uh, put the the varnish the protectant over it and I haven't had to uh, I redid them last year and they'll be going up again this year and I don't have to retouch them up or anything they still look great from last year even if they do start to fade in some areas it's fine like I said it's supposed to look old worn down and that's about it